Okay, everyone, so I've sat back, I've sat back, and I've sat back, and I've sat back, and I've watched. It's time to make a reply to some videos, uh, some channels. I I do talk to the Heavenly Father before I make videos. There may be, well, let's say, the 11 videos I have made that never went out. They never went out because the enemy didn't want them to go out and kept fighting, fighting the technology the way it was working. It really doesn't matter because I don't get many views. So if I get a lot of views, good, someone is seeing this. It's heartfelt. I'm going to describe to you what 4 4 4 means. See, many are trying to put or say that it's like a triple six, as though it's just judgment. Let me explain something. Some of us who make channels. Okay, when I first look at a channel, I get so excited. Brothers and sisters, you know, brethren, those in Christ's bride are making videos. And I'm feeling peace of mind. I can listen to someone else. And then after a while, I start watching. I can decipher who is Holy Spirit filled and who is all about talking. judging, instead of judging from the holy word with the scripture in their hand, if they have to pull over and do it. Um, if we're teaching others, okay, if we're teaching others, we're teaching others the truth. I'm just going to use the holy word today. I'm not going to talk about all the others, the, the apocrypha and the, the nagama, and more you can find on about creation, more, but I'm just going to go into the holy word. New King James, that's what I'm going to use right now. So for you that already know my channel, You'll see where I'm coming from. Okay. Water. <laughs> okay. Showing a little bit of ice because I'm I need to cool down. I, I go to a channel so I want to see encouragement. I'm not getting encouragement. Why am I not getting encouragement? They're exposing those in Christ's bride. And I have to say for a few that I have seen. They're telling the truth in holiness. We are holy because God is holy. When we sin, we repent and get right back on that road. But pridefulness, haughtiness, self-gratification, saying, you know, the description of hot fire on people. I mean, whatever. What are you talking about? The Heavenly Father is the all-consuming God. What are we talking about? What is this going on? So I'm going to say this for YouTube. This is not your advertisement channel. This is to bring those to Jesus Christ and to follow his voice. He is our shepherd. We are his sheep. He guides us in truth, the living water, the life. And yet we have many that are arguing I could say a lot about names that are of astrology names on channels and all kinds of things and goddesses and people saying they're God and they're this. Okay, we know all about that. I'm talking about Christ's bride itself. Guess what? I'm here to tell you something. The Heavenly Father is separating those within Christ's bride. Now you heard that go down, my little stool here. So when you say that it's pre-tribs and post-tribs, or, or anyone is saying it's those left behind or those here. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not just that separation. Ha! Huh. I have a word for you. It's actually separation of Christ's bride. See, there are different realms. There are different levels to heaven. Different levels. So, then you ask yourself, am I one of the 144,000? Am I uh, a saint? Am I the elect? Am I one going to be helping in judgment when Christ returns to judge the earth and is the king for a thousand years? Will, will you be the one that's going down there with him? Will you be in heaven? Will you be taking care of the children? All the children that have been, what, aborted? Miscarriages? Passed in death? Their parents didn't come with, go leave with them in the clouds? Will you be watching them? See, I hope to be one of those. I know the Heavenly Father has given me part of what I need to do and what I'm going to be doing, not just here on earth that I've done, but in heaven. Understand something. 
I fell a couple days ago and I had to pick back up in the Word and get right back because my thought got wrong for a second. Excuse me, my calendar. See, that's another thing. I mark off every single day. I'm ready to go. But at the same time, you see, be careful of those that are talking to where they're not. They're not even opening up the Word in their video. And I'm not saying, you know, you can, you can be you're in a situation where you're not able to do that but why is there never a video that I see for some channels that ever is somebody sitting down and reading the Holy Word even on their phone why are they not teaching the Holy Word with you showing the Holy Word with you getting it from the scripture why see the Heavenly Father has been telling me lately this is the last the last couple of weeks because it's one that I subscribed to and then I changed that because he says my child Okay? The Most High, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob said, the bride, the Christ the bride is even being separated. And then some just want to say, oh, it's the ones that are Christians that are left behind. I'm sorry, there's nowhere in the Holy Word that says we are Christians. It says act as Christians. And guess what? I'm Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. And I'm going to tell you right now, if we don't understand this holiness and this truth, you might as well give that up. Because that's what it's about. So I'm going to take you straight to a scripture. Yes, I'm going to use the Holy Word. If you go to Revelation chapter 7, I'm going to show you here. The seal of Israel. Okay, it refers to Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. I write notes in my Holy Word to understand where I'm going to, another parable, another precept uh, that gives me the understanding. The seal of Israel. You see, 444, I did a video on this for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this. You see, this is, I'm, I'm, this is to be loving. Okay. Four times four times four for me equals twelve. Twelve is not a satanic number. It is a holy number, meaning the twelve tribes of Israel. Be careful who you're watching, what you're listening to. <clears throat> now, there are numbers that mean different things. So seven is completion. Six is definitely not completion. Number of man. I could go on and on about that. You can watch other videos about that. But, uh... I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read this chapter to you, and I would like you to think about it. Please, those of you, just think about it. I truly hope someone sees the video. I hope it, the title will allow many to come to it to see what I'm saying, because I feel bad for many. I, I am so thankful and have prayers answered for others. We're supposed to be praying for others, and it's becoming a talk show on YouTube. Very, and I'm not talking about the ones that are actually talk shows on YouTube. We're not talking about that. Okay? We're not talking about those channels. We're talking about channels that say they're Christ Bride. Understand, if you're in Christ Bride, you should be teaching us. Christ would be teaching you. Jesus Christ would not be talking the way. There's a time to reprimand. All scriptures are inspired for teaching, reproving, and setting things straight. But that is not to go off and say someone else isn't holy. Because why? They're telling you that... They're uncomfortable with the worldliness that you have in you. That's called being holy. You have to think about this. Be very cautious. Even the very elect can be deceived. All right, chapter 7. Reading it straight from the Word. After these things, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea, or on any tree. Then I saw another angel sending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth and the sea or the trees till we have sealed the servants of God on our foreheads. Sealed. So the 144,000, if you realize, that's triple four, and I can go on about race and Esau and Jacob and Israelites and who's Hebrew, who's not, but that's not what this, this video is about. I have to have a love to understand Esau is also po possibly in Christ, right? Not just because later they may be servants, 
I'm going to say that again because my webcam stopped, but later they might be servants, but because the Heavenly Father reaches the heart, he, he, he judges the heart, and the Holy Spirit bears witness. Now, if the Holy Spirit is bearing witness of you talking about someone's going to be harmed or something. Let me explain. Ooh, be careful with that, brothers, sisters, sons. I don't see, I'm going to take this to a higher level. Sons and daughters of light. True sons and daughters of light are wanting to be in God's image to the, the highest degree. And we're wanting to be Christ-like to the highest degree. We may have to leave a love behind. You see? You, have, you can't be with them. They don't want to marry. You have to leave them. It's the same thing with fornication. Same thing with um, idolatry, idolatry, everything. And so to tell someone that now there is judgment. Okay, there are satanic numbers for Satanists. They like the number nine. They like the number eleven. My birthday it happens to be on the thirteenth, which seems like it's always off and on because of the fact that I get attacked a lot by the enemy and people saying, "Oh, your birthday's on Friday the thirteenth." Hey, I was born right after midnight. That's when I was born. But I know where my walk has come from, and I know where I'm at. And you can see that proven on videos. I'm expressing, be very careful. Be careful when you're watching a channel. If you're not feeling Holy Spirit, you need to get out of that channel. If you, and I watch channels sometimes just to see if they will change to see if they will admit they're wrong or to even repent on national YouTube. I have repented on national YouTube. I've said the prayer right there to the Heavenly Father. Understand, this is not funny. This is, this is serious. We all want to laugh sometimes. So I'm talking about a, lot, a few different situations here, not just one particular brethren. Okay? Um, we want to all laugh. We want to be careful that we don't blaspheme the Holy Spirit because blaspheming the Holy Spirit is unforgivable. Now, now saying you don't believe in Christ or believe, or believe in the that there is Heavenly Father, that in the Word says that is not blasphemy. Okay? Because maybe they don't know when you teach them, they learn. Just like atheists can learn to love Christ Jesus. Okay? And know who He is. However, you got to be careful that we're not making fun of or we're not laughing ha-ha Ooh, at evilness. Be careful. Verse 4 says, And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000, and of the tribes of the children of Israel were sealed. Verse 5, and I'm in chapter 7, remember. Of the, uh, excuse me, of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Nephetheli, 12,000 uh, were sealed. I keep saying 12 tribes, I'm sorry, it's 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Ishakar, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of ben Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. Is anyone talking about the 144,000? Hmm, who are those? Are you of the 144,000? Are you? You're of Christ's bride? Are you? Is Christ, that's one thing to, to be upset as when Christ went into the temple and threw the temple uh, tables down. Who oh, do not be worshiping my father this way about with money? Um, I could say a lot for those in ministry that are using money. Using money. For the ministry. When I said there's a women's forum coming up on Friday night, this night where I live here in Oregon, guess what? It is. Donation to help those. We're going to be giving out dresses and so forth with each other. We're going to be talking about Adam, Eve, and the serpent seed. Who is Cain's father? Do we know this? These questions. What does Christ's bride really mean? Who are the elect? Who are the 144,000? Do we understand that? Do we understand the corrupt church? Do we understand the persecuted church? The faithful? Do we understand exactly these churches? And you say four is a judgment number. Yes, but what is triple four? 
See, to me, that's the 12 tribes of Israel. Israel, the real Jews, the real Hebrews. And then the throne room of heaven, Revelation chapter 4. It talks about the throne room of heaven. I'm going to tell you, if you've had a vision, and you, and, and yes, it says you cannot see the Heavenly Father's face and still live. Why? It's so bright. <laughs> it's so bright. And yet you can still see the outer circumference of the throne. And you, you've been visited by Jesus. Has he spoken to you? I know what I've experienced. I know one thing. Being holy, being holy is what's important right now. Being faithful being uh, following and repenting getting back up and going stronger whether you have to fast clean out your house every five seven seven days I don't know five seven days or so every week Sabbath yes keeping Sabbath I will argue that one Deuteronomy and Exodus and until in Genesis, when, he first, when the Heavenly Father first created, he took the seventh day out. Understand. So we can keep saying we're saved by grace. Yes, you're saved by grace. That's an emergency situation. You have done something. You're like, Father, I, I've been stopping all sin, and this, this is something I did. Why? And I'm sorry. And going to him in holy prayer. And saying, Abba, I'm sorry. So when we start... Understand, Christ's bride is being separated even from the sheep and the goats. Those saying they're leaving. We always have to keep testing all spirits. And we have to ask the Heavenly Father to show us and reveal to us, even on a channel. I pray. Is this channel right, Father? Is this channel right, Father? Father, how can I pray for them? Father, is this correct? And I always get an answer. I've been getting many answers the last couple weeks now. Please go with me if you have your holy word to Second John chapter one. Look at that. It says, hey, there are subtitles in here, so I'm not going to necessarily say you have to have this in here. But the New King James says, "Greeting the elect lady," right here, the elder. So I want to read that for more. It says to the elect lady and her children, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also all those who have known the truth, because of the truth which abides in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace will be with you from God the Father and, the, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father in truth and love. Walk in Christ's commandments. I rejoice greatly that I have found some of your children walking in truth. We are received commandments from the Father. And now I plead with you, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment, to you but that which we have had from the beginning that we love one another excuse me coveting excuse me see I'm speaking to myself because I almost got caught up in this excuse me so if you're commenting on a channel that is talking about another channel and exposing a channel why are you not going to that channel and saying something to that person that you're exposing see I have said truth to every situation channel comment I have said has been out of Holy Spirit because I've prayed about it before commenting. I may get something back from this one video. It does not matter at this point. At this point, it doesn't matter. I have carefully, carefully committed myself to this ministry that is for the Father. It's not my ministry. I am to speak about Christ. I am supposed to talk about how Jesus walked on earth. I'm supposed to talk about being at the wedding feast. I'm not supposed to be talking about everybody else every single video. And if you are commenting on someone's video who is exposing someone, why are you not also going to that channel and saying, hey, I have a question about what you're saying. As many as others have questioned me and I come back with the scripture. But instead, it's becoming a soap opera on that channel that you expose and talk about someone else before it may be even going to that channel seeing if they're telling the truth or if they're holy, filled with Holy Spirit or not. Oh yes. Make no mistake about it. We all have judgment. And we all, all have to go before the Father. All of us. Do you understand what I'm saying? We'll all fall to the knees of, before the Messiah. Do you understand that too? 
So if we're following someone who is saying something about someone else, we don't even know. Test the spirits. Even with me, I'm going to look at you straight in, the, straight in the camera, that little blue light, and say, test my channel. I've, if I've done something wrong, I apologize. Yeah, national YouTube. Understand. It says, daughters, the elect lady, and her children. Are we putting love into the children? And yes, children may be watching some of these videos, and some of them may not be appropriate for them. When we're speaking truth to a degree, if we're talking about fornication or if we're teaching that. So when, when someone says, oh, anyone can watch it, no, that's not true. Because I, I, there are some things I've watched on a, on a brethren. It's always going to be usually male for me. Unfortunately, the, the females that I do watch are really full of the Holy Spirit. When they speak, they bring out the scriptures. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I need. If I'm, and it's hard to find someone that I can really get encouragement from. Honestly, I have to go to the Heavenly Father. He's the one that gives me encouragement because everyone else is becoming worldly and following the world even on their channel when they're speaking about someone. So it's, and it's constant. It's not exposing Catholic Catholicism and Islamic views and, how that, and Buddhism. It's not none of that. It's exposing Christ's bride and saying that Christ's bride is wrong, but yet you're, you're also, all of you are not having two witnesses. And you're, you're commenting why? So this is my only video to say this. This is the first and only and last video I will make about this. I will not fall in that trap. Be careful you're not deceived. Go to a channel. Comment on why you think you don't agree with them. Or email them personally. I've written comments that have been encouraging. I've written comments of questions that never got an answer. So I already went to you. I'm going to tell you right now who I'm talking about. I've already went to you and said something. Never, ever, 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 ever was commented. And I've prayed over your channel. I've prayed for your families. I've prayed that you receive um, funds. I've prayed for you when you need a job. I have prayed for you um, to the Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ. I have prayed for you when you have been stressed and downtrodden. You've felt oppressed. You have felt afflicted and never re received a reply on my, on my message. So I already know a done deal. I did what I was supposed to do. That's, that's the ministry of the Father, His ministry. It is not ours. This is finishing the ministry of Christ. This is not our ministry. We must stop saying this is not our ministry. We start talking the same thing every time we go into a, um, when we make a video, what happens is, and I've seen sister, one sister who says she's a sister who doesn't even believe in being really Christ's bride. You're almost um, putting someone in a spell. You bring them, because I've seen that with um, chakras and charmans and people in the high meditations and people that do the yoga and all, and, and, and um, let me see what else. Yeah, the chakras and all that. And when they go into that whole thing about crystal stuff, what do they start doing? They start giving, putting you in a trance before they start talking. That's skeptical. Yes, I am being specific and skeptical. Yes, my essence doesn't mean I worship a snake. I worship the Heavenly Father, the Most High, and His Son. I go through Jesus Christ. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeshua. Yeshima. You understand what I'm saying? I can say Ahaya. I could I mean we could go on, and on about how to say it in Hebrew. I already made a video about that. What I am saying here, we cannot sit there. If somebody has a lisp, have you ever heard someone has a lisp? There are folks that have lisp. So they they because they have lists, their teeth don't reach with their tongue. And yet we're saying they're the snake god. And you're you're condemning them and convicting them. And you're allowing the, the devil to come in, and you're allowing the demonic spirits to come in and bother them without even really knowing. And have you prayed on that person for that channel? Or are you just saying they're exposing someone because you like someone else's channel? And so because you like someone else's channel, you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. But you're not even testing the spirits with them. And perhaps, and I don't want to be judging, but if you're spiritual, you can judge in the fact that you're, you're doing it from Scripture. Hmm. <sighs> I'm getting a little bit, just a little bit, excuse me, I don't like to show that, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little bit upset. And I have to pray after this that the Heavenly Father help me to understand. Even within now YouTube is becoming the new Hollywood. Hmm. Even in Christ's bride. Be careful. Be careful. I must be careful careful see seeing God through love 
First John 4 just talks about seeing God. It says chapter 4 and verse 12. Okay. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of his spirit. I pray that enough see this video. I, I honestly pray that somebody that is on these channels that I'm witnessing these comments in. and those that are exposing on that on those channels that are saying hey your channel is filled with you know you got people being obscene you've got and that's happened on my channel when I explode when I said something about the Nepal earthquake so you'll see the F words on there but I came back with a scripture See, I'm not going to scream at someone who comes from the demon world anyway right so all you can do is rebuke in the name of Jesus. He rebukes them. We don't. That's summoning demons. We don't summon demons. That's what Solomon did with the star in Babylon. It, it, it took him over. See, you have to be really careful because when we are so holier than now we think and we are prideful, that's why I say we need to stay holy. The reason why I say this is it's a constant fight to, to, to get to that holiness. It's a constant fight because we're sinners. We're in this flesh. It's wicked, right? It's made up of Satan. You have to understand that. The inside spirit has to remain in, in the word. And so we should be also sharing, not just in the word, but showing it. I don't care if you have to pull over, you have to show the holy word. Is someone going to take your word for it? When you speak the truth and you're speaking from the word, you have the holy word in front of you. See, that's lukewarm to me. Period. It's lukewarm. I have sinned in my life. And I have spoke the truth on it. I've been in different faiths before the Heavenly Father fully woke me up and told me who I was. But I'm a daughter of light. And if you think you're a son of light, you this, this is not going to take place anymore. It has to stop. There's a separation even in Christ's bride. So be very careful. Are we, are we, we have to keep saying, are we worthy? You know, he shows us mercy that I'm, I'm going to just speak from what the Heavenly Father's telling me. And I, I'm not saying every time, every, this is a God-filled channel, or every time the Father's, No. He leads me to do things. This is why I've said this before. I will be doing my, my chapter book on here that I wrote years ago. I will be sharing it with you, okay, when I get it all together. It should be very soon because I hope to be caught up soon. This is getting ridiculous online. It really is. You know, everything I've ever written about for the videos are here. Somebody happens to come in my house after I'm gone, hoping I'm gone. I pray every day I'm gone. If I sit, I need to get in that word, okay, repent and understand. I share this, songs and, and poems and things, because someone may need it. Okay? And yes, on my Google, you already know, so you'll know now, I expose the devil. I expose the devil because I understand the dark side so much. Because coming from the dark, right? When you were once dark, you were of darkness. Near a light, you're light. Okay? Because there are young people that need to understand this. There are young people that need to understand what they're up against. Okay? That's why I keep telling some of my family members who do not at all come from the faith of men or believe anything that I'm saying. I say, be careful. Remember, you think about taking that mark of the beast, you better go ahead and get your head cut off. Beheaded. Be beheaded. Because at least maybe then you have that chance. But guess what? If you sit there and say, I'm not going to tell anyone, we should be encouraging each other. And we should be going on to the person that we're exposing and encouraging them, which I had done, but now I had to unsubscribe, I had to completely remove myself and just watch from a distance. See if there's changes. That's the only way I know you. I don't I don't I'm not able to hang out with you and spend time in fellowship. Why? Because we're in different locations. So the only thing I can go by is that channel. Understand. And you don't have to take my word for it. Pray on it. Heavenly Father, He is separating within Christ's bride the sheep and the goats even from the bride many are called not all are chosen and then you have to understand there's different levels to the bride now, if you don't think so I'm so sorry if you do not think so but as a daughter of light I'm going to tell you that is the truth that's the truth the truth will set me free the truth shall set you free let's just all be honest Honesty, truth. I sinned in my mind, I sinned in my heart, I sinned physically. And then you change. 
When you ask for repentance, you walk in the truth, walk in that light, because Christ is light. He's the light of the world. It's light. It's not darkness. When I start seeing darkness on a channel to the point of not just one time, but lots of times, it's time to be careful. I had to, I had to make this video. So yes, there may be some comeback. I'm not worried about that. If you knew what I've left and given up, like many of you have given up for Christ's name's sake. You understand what I'm saying? For His, what He did for us, the, sh the blood He shed. When you fall, you get back up, and you have to go stronger and harder in the faith. You have to walk that narrow path even more than you did before. Just grab a pencil or something. It's a narrow path. It's not just the size of the narrow path. It's a narrow view. Don't you get it? We are open to understanding to help others, but it is a narrow, not just a narrow path, a narrow walk, a narrow road. It's, a, it's The view is very small within the truth. You have, to, you have to be walking in the light. Jesus ascended to heaven rose on that third day and Christ he's the Christ you're seeing that crossing over to light purity complete holiness before his father if I say swear word that's a still sin so a couple days ago if I said a swear word because I was so frustrated and even trying to make my children understand that we have to walk this way they're younger I feel for the children of today, not just us children, the little children, the babies. Are we walking up and saying, love Jesus, who is Messiah, the angel's coming to get you. That's important. It's important. Young man, pull your pants up. Yes, I have said that. I have walked into a neighbor. Pull your pants up, son. This is why we pull our pants up. So if I'm wrong, correct me. I have taken correction receive it, but I'm going to give it right now. Let's go back to this. Knowing God through love. Verse 8, He who does not love God, does not love, does not know God, and God is love. That doesn't mean we're supposed to sit there and not correct you on wrongness, or correct myself, or the Heavenly Father corrects His children. He loves His children, so He corrects them like we correct our children. So when you sit there and you think, because someone is exposing or saying something about a channel, they do they do need to go to you. But if they've even commented and you never respond, that's the correction right there. That's the asking for and pleading with you to please respond, and you don't. Then there, after that, there's two witnesses, which is the witness of the video. And see, this is my witness right here. The Holy Spirit is bearing witness of me right now, making this video. This is the second witness. The third will be that you are corrected from the Heavenly Father. So I am advising, I am advising, I'm mentoring, I'm teaching right now, I'm instructing, not just as a watchman, because I don't see myself just a watchman. As a daughter of light, a daughter of new Jerusalem, Zion, a daughter, as I have received correction, it's time for me to say something in correction. Commandments, love thy neighbor as thyself. That means love, that means correcting. It doesn't always mean, I love your channel, it doesn't always mean, oh my goodness, it's not always backing you up. That becomes prideful. Verse 9, In this the love of God was manifested to, toward us, that God has sent His only begotten Son into the world, that He might live through Him. In this, in this is love, not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son to be the propitiation—excuse me, propitiation. I always have a hard time with that word for our sins. Verse 11, beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. So when you say that you are following Jesus Christ, when you are following the Messiah, Yeshua, when you are following Him, hello. What are we following? A channel? Or are we following what someone is saying on the channel as being Christ filled, being filled with Holy Spirit, being proven with the scriptures? 
I have it right here, and I'm reading it right from here. And having compassion and prayer. See, now this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. so much I just I'm going to have to end because this, this is going down what I can walking in the light let's go there John 12 verse 42 nevertheless even among the rulers many believed in him but because of the Pharisees they did not confess him lest they should be put out of the synagogue for they loved, and pra they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God so basically what's that saying so when you want to say that somebody's being a heretic, a Pharisee, or they don't want to laugh, yeah, they la we laugh. We do laugh. But holiness comes first. Then we might chuckle a little. But I'm not going to sit there and ever put... I loved lots of, lots of videos until it gets to the point of the world completely coming in. We all have different personalities and so forth at the same time. Why would Jesus Christ want you on his team? And why would the Heavenly Father want you in heaven, especially, or eternally, in his new kingdom? If he plans to make a new heavens and new earth, why would you be in the kingdom there if you're a showing of the world here? All the music, all the things that come from Lucifer that was in heaven before he was Satan, was a chief of music. Do you understand that? That brings Satan in. I don't care what anyone says. That's the truth. It's the truth. Read up on Lucifer when he was Lucifer in heaven before cast as Satan. Hmm? I wonder why that is. The prey. I wonder why that is. He was good at that. You don't think the devil can use us for those same things here on earth? Even in the elect? Oh, he can. So be careful. So with that being said, I'm going to end with something positive here. Um, a calm. Let's say this. Truly my soul silently waits for God. From him comes my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. Psalms chapter 62. You can take a look at that. And guess what? It's not others in Christ's bride that are our strength and our channels in YouTube. It's the Heavenly Father. The highest. It's our, it's our Father. The Most High. It's our Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit moves through both of them. He is the Father of the Holy Spirit. Do you understand that? He knows everything. He knows all things. So, when we think we're not pleasing him, that's when we need to go and ask for his forgiveness. This is something I'm putting out here. This is for all YouTubers who are in Christ, in Christ's bride, and, and understand I, it had to be said. I'm so sorry if you disagree with me. Take it to the Holy Spirit, into the Heavenly Father, through the Word of Christ Jesus, in red letters in the Holy Word, and through Christ Jesus, you may go before the Heavenly Father and speak to Him. But you're going to have to take that with Holy Spirit to the Heavenly Father. So do not make a video against me. Because in that case, if you do and you don't consult me first, understand I never mention names. Many are mentioning exact names. If you know who you are and it sounds like you, something to think about. So go to Him and see. And those that are watching other channels, go to the Heavenly Father in prayer and see. Is that the Holy Spirit feels? Or is that soap opera field. Mm. I made a video just a couple days back. Oh, I think like a day ago because I thought someone was speaking about me and they actually were talking about someone else but I still made a video because I felt so bad about it. And I wanted to explain myself and I wanted to say I apologize and see if I was right or wrong. If it was if I'm evil or good and understanding that yes the, the Hebrew name a little bit may be a little bit off. Okay, I'm studying Hebrew, I'm studying language, I'm, I, I'm I'm in courses for this, and um, I'm in the Holy Word, and, and I'm, I need to know. I need to know these things. So I apologize. And I also have to test the spirits, and I know who I'm speaking to when I pray. To the Heavenly Father, the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, of Moses. Okay? That Father. That being said, Selah, an agreement. And... I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day and take everything in prayer. Even those in Christ, because believe me, the Heavenly Father is separating within Christ's bride of where you will be. 
really take it to heart and understand what I'm saying. Take it in prayer. Okay? And uh, may joy find us in fellowship. Actually, let's just try this one first. Go to Psalms chapter 63 and read that too, okay? Uh, joy and fellowship of God. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your powers and your glory. All praise to you. Praises to you, Father. In Jesus' name. All right. Have a good day. Shalom.